news coming in from Chennai to our top focus, uh, the latest on the under construction building collapse in the outskirts of Chennai. At least eight people are dead. 26 others have been rescued. Most of the victims are construction workers. As many as 40 of them are feared trapped in the rubble of the 11-storied building. The building collapsed following heavy rains in the city. Rescue operations are underway. Four teams of the NDRF are at the spot with 180 experts working on the rescue. Another 250 NDRF personnel are expected from the Arakuram. Uh, fire tenders and ambulances are at the spot. The building was being constructed by a Madurai-based builder. The police have detained four people, a real estate developer, his son and two engineers for negligence. Two people and the engineer have been detained. The investigation is on. The commissioner is consulting the city police. The NDRF team is already at the spot. Local commando team has got the expertise. Uh, 50 members are here. They are in the rescue operations. Uh, NDRF team has come from our, our corner. They are also here. Uh, they have got the equipment. Uh, we suspect uh, around uh, 45 are trapped. And reacting to the tragedy, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Jay Jay Lalitha has promised action against the builders. In a statement, she says, and I quote her now, I'm shocked about the collapse of the building. I have instructed all the top officials to reach to the spot. 12 fire engines and 12 ambulances have been rushed. We have taken help of the NDRF. Metro Rail, Highways and PWD departments will coordinate the rescue work. Unquote. And we've got Anna Isaac live from Chennai. Now, um, Anna, four people have been detained. The police had initially questioned two directors of the uh, construction company earlier. Uh, what has come of it? Do we know what is the exact reason uh, for the building collapse? Uh, well, Mega, I uh, just to give our uh, viewers, you know, background of what exactly happened yesterday, around 5 p.m. Uh, in the evening, there were uh, heavy showers in Chennai and the outskirts of Chennai where we are uh, presently. And eyewitness says this uh, this 11-story building was still being constructed. It was just a you know out uh, like outer sh uh, shell that had been constructed, and uh, lightning struck. And, and that was the reason for the collapse. And uh, 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 thereafter, there was also a cylinder blast that took place. And uh, so, in fact, the victims who were pulled out alive, uh, they did suffer some burn injuries. So, essentially, heavy rain uh, together with, uh, uh, with, uh, with lightning and, uh, and that cylinder blast, blast was the reason for this collapse. Of course, investigations are still on. With regard to the rescue operations, there, are, uh, there is the, a National Disaster Response Force that is here, more than uh, 250 personnel uh, together with with uh, uh, the Chennai police and the Tamil Nadu fire and uh, uh, rescue services are working still more than 12 hours after this incident took place to ensure that those uh, those trapped are pulled out alive from that debris. Mega. All right. And uh, um, I believe that the rescue operation continued through the night. And uh, do you have a count of how many people are out? Uh, are you connecting with the families of those who are still trapped in the building? Uh, that's right. There were eight people have been confirmed dead so far from this tragedy. Uh, Twenty-six uh, people were rescued overnight. Uh, they, they have been admitted in several private hospital, hospitals nearby. Most of the victims, uh, uh, you know, they they suffered injuries to their head, to the to their uh, limbs, and of course uh, to their to their body. Uh, so the situation does look uh, very grim. Rescue operations are still underway. Uh, at the moment, it looks like more than 20 people are still trapped. Of course, the exact number is a bit hard to determine. Uh, because there's so much rubble, so much debris to deal with and these rescue operations are still going on. They've used uh, uh, earth movers, they've used cranes, they've used gas cutters to sort of uh, 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 ensure, uh, try and break up this rubble and ensure that those people who are still trapped under all of this debris are pulled out. All right. Mega. All right. Thanks, Anna, for all the details.